welcome back to Who's That RVing? And today I want to talk about power. We all use it, we all need it, and uh, many ways to get it. Uh, plugging in at shore power, uh, running your generator, solar, whatever it is, we all use power. Uh, but let's talk about generators for a minute. I have come to the conclusion that motorhome generators are wasteful. They're either on or they're off. They're either running at full throttle or nothing. So if you're making, uh, uh, say you're on your laptop or whatever, and you got your generator running, it's 4,000, ours is a 4,000 watt. You got 4,000 watts and you're using 100. It's just wasteful. Uh, so today I would like to talk about two different generators. Our own in 4000, super quiet, that came with the camper. And a generator that our friend here at the park, Jeff Busby, he has graciously allowed us to uh, plug into his generator. So let me get you a picture of this generator. It is the Predator 3500 watt inverter generator. Uh, comes from Harbor Freight, and that generator has been wonderful. He has his uh, tra travel trailer hooked into the 30 amp, and he allowed us to run an extension cord with 110 out of one of his 110 plugs, and we've ran that generator for hours, and it sips the fuel because it only it has a throttle control. It only uses what you're using. So if you're using 100 watts, it's idling. If you need 3,000 watts, of course, it picks up the 3,000. Now, let me just say, I have not been endorsed by Onin or Predator. There's been no uh, money or, or anything like that. I have no affiliation with either one of them. I'm just telling you my honest opinion of what's happening. Uh, so that's it. You know, just a quick uh, quick video here today just to let you know that your camper generator may not be the best solution. Uh, look at some of these and see if they uh, might be a better run. I'm actually thinking of getting one and pulling out that 4,000 watt uh, Onan and putting in one of these 3,500 watt inverter generators. And maybe some of these motorhome people that are creating these motorhomes might see this video at some point and realize, hey, maybe that's not a bad idea. Let's hope. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.